Hello friends, this is Dr. Umesh Kumar Arya, Faculty of Media Studies. Welcome to this class on the effective Googling. Friends, we know that Google is the most widely used search engine for the information search on the internet. But we just know only one element of the Google search that is we search anything for example I search my name and it will give you the results and it will give you the results but friends we must understand that when you sum search something on the Google then Google places the word plus or the and between the two words like it has placed the plus sign between the Umesh and the Arya so it will now show the results which have Umesh name and all those results which have the name Arya so it is showing that it has 346,000 results of Umesh Arya whereas the real uh, fact is that it's, it has searched Umesh and Arya separately so it has searched Umesh and Arya practically but this is not the right method of finding some information if you want to search the whole term as a single text then you must type it in the double quotes and then you should search so in this search your search would be more meaningful like it is showing the Umesh area two words as a single text and this is more useful now it is showing only 10,000 results as opposed to the 3,60,000 so this is uh, a very good method you can narrow down your research to the single factor and uh, if you search something started with the tilde tilde is a small stroke which is on the left side of the keyboard of the computer just below the escape it is not even visible yeah tilde is a small key if you write tilde and uh, times of india then it will search all the websites related to the newspaper or the news organization because Times of India is a famous newspaper so the tilde ensures that all the results they are related to the news organizations like you can see all the links they relate to the news organizations if we go to six link even then you would be finding the Google News India Today News etc so the duplicate the irrelevant uh, results they are deleted so whenever you f uh, try to find uh, information on a, a particular field then please enter uh, the tilde first and then write the name so your uh, search would be more focused the third tip for the effective googling is if you want to find out a particular file type for example if I type this and write the extension dot ppt it means I am searching for the PowerPoint presentations on the topic of effective googling 
so when you search it then it will return the results which will have all the PowerPoint presentations like this is the PPT presentation slide share it is also the PP presentation PowerPoint there is also the one so all of these presentations they are PowerPoint similarly you can enter the doc it means you are searching for the doc file like this is the doc file so you name the extension and it will bring out and the next tip is that if you want to search for nano so nano may be a nano technology, nano car, nano price, particles so if you want to delete the irrelevant search for example you don't want to search the nano car you wanted to search nano medicine but if you search in a simple way then all these irrelevant links would be there so you just place minus and you see car it means you are searching for nano but you are not searching for the car so be sure that uh, there is a space between the nano and the negative mark and immediately following is the next word that is car if you open it then see the first link is the world signet so it is not the cars link and if you search otherwise then the first link would be of Tata Nano car most probably yeah it's there because Google follows the page ranking algorithm which says that uh, the most widely uh, visited websites they would be reported first on the page so Tata Nano naturally uh, it is uh, being visited by so many net surfers so it will display it on the first page but if you place a sign uh, minus mark and immediately after that you write car so the next search would be deleting the nano car from it the next tip says that uh, if you want to search a particular term within a particular website then uh, the method is this suppose I want to search Jajar site colon I would write the name of the website in which I am trying to find uh, my term in so I would write this in this method I am trying to find out the word Jajar in the site umeshare.blogspot.com and when I will click this then Google will search only umeshare.blogspot.com it says that it does no, uh, did not find any search related to the Jajar term if I write something else here for example then it would search only this website and would bring this result on Jaisalmer like it has searched only one website and only one link is there so we can open this link from here so friends if you want to search within a particular website then write the term write the word site immediately write colon and without space just write the name of the website and then search so this is also one of the very good methods if you want to see the different definitions of a particular term then just write define colon and write empowerment I want to see various definitions of empowerment then I will just click this and see it is showing me 
different definitions of empowerment I can go to these websites and note down the definitions and I can use them as per my objective normally research work requires the use of definitions like anything so this function can help us in a big way if you type time then it will tell you the exact time of that area Google knows uh, from where you are accessing the internet so it shows the exact time and the uh, day and it will tell you the location also if you search weather then it will tell you the weather in your place and if you search temperature in Toronto then the very first link would be of the Toronto 70 degrees Celsius and if you type convert one US dollar in Indian rupees and if you search then on the very, very first link it will tell you the current prevailing rate like 1 US dollar is equal to 49.21 Indian rupees the other very good use of uh, the Google is the translation if you go, go to Google Translate then it would look like this you can type whatever you want in this box I have typed this in English and if I want to translate uh, this into Hindi then I would just select Hindi here and see how beautiful the translation is Gyandut Madhya Pradesh me dhar jile ke logon ke liye badi suvidha padan kar raha hai if you want to listen it then you can do that also Google is a measurement tool also if you type 6 feet in centimeters and search it will tell you it is 182.88 centimeters Google is a calculator also if you type 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 minus 9 plus 7 and press enter it will tell you the calculation the score is 18 and uh, you can use it for the division also divided by 18 and result Yeah, divided by this is the result so Google is a very good calculator also however if you still find something lacking in these tips then you can always go to the Google and type how to search effectively in Google and uh, look for the different links you may always find something new coming up Thank you very much friends, thanks for watching.